Hey, welcome back. It's Brad Taylor at Taylor Coach and Tracy's RV in Milgrove, Ontario, Canada. We're back here shooting a, a video on another 14 foot, uh, similar to the one we did uh, earlier in the season here, but this one has a couple extra features on it that I wanted to bring to your attention also. Um, like always, we got the nice big front window on the front here. It's tinted so it keeps it cooler in the summer, um, gives you privacy all day long, but, but lots of visibility for seeing out into the park. It's still that 78 inches wide, so you don't have to put all the mirrors on your vehicle to see by it. Um, for width wide, so that again is 78 inches or 6 foot 6 wide. You got your propane tank, your battery sitting on the front. Uh, we, on this particular one, we've rolled you out the awning to show you the awning. This is a 9 foot A&E awning with an 8 foot projection. The arms are removable from the coach and they can be mounted down onto the ground if you don't want the arms to be in your way while you have the awning out. Um, you still have the BAL jacks on it, your spare tires mounted underneath. We've got your porch light on the side here keeping the bug sort of away from the back. You do have a light on the back also. Um, but let's show you some of the features on the inside. So let's go on board and we'll show you some of the inside interior. Now we've got you on board here, this 14 foot. And when we're calling this a 14 foot from Tip to tip, this trailer is 14 foot, about 8 inches from tip to tip. The floor on this particular coach is 11 foot, 5 inches long from tip to tip on the floor. Um, show you some of the features on the inside. We'll start on the washroom side of it here. This has your built-in toilet shower combo with your fan and everything and up above it, which makes it nice and bright in the bathroom at all times. Um, um, from there, on our kitchen counter here, we've got a nice two-burner cooktop. We've got our microwave up above. Lots of storage up above from there for storage up above. You've got the uh, 2.7 in a uh, Dometic uh, auto-ignition fridge. Um, you've got your single sink with a high-rise neck and lots of storage underneath with your cutlery tray also for your cutlery underneath. We've got a nice size counter considering this is only a 14 foot trailer so if you want to put a percolator and a toaster at the back you can do that and you've still got room on your counter to be able to function and do your cooking and, and dishes and that which makes it really great in such a small compact trailer. Trying to get all those same features as those 35 footers have in a smaller trailer. We'll show you on the front here. I'm up at the front here, our dinette. This is a 54 inch dinette. Uh, on the one side with a 48 on the other, so it, it allows for a bigger closet in the back, but when this goes into a bed, you basically are, have where, you're, where your body's laying that you have uh, 54 inches and 48 on the other, making it into a great double bed. Um, from there, we've also got your reading light, so when you go to bed at night for reading and that, um, you know, so you're not disturbing one another uh, for reading and that, so it's great for reading at night. Um, you've got your exit window at the front. You can see with lots of visibility at the front for when you're sitting in the trailer. It still has the overhead bunk area here where the bunk will come down on either side. So you've got a nice bunk area for storing any blankets or pillows or using it as a bunk. It really depends on how you want to use it as a customer. From there, when it's up, this cabinet, it's also just for storage where you can open your doors and utilize the storage inside. Uh, once you make your bed up here, you can also leave your bed made up all the time. You've also got an extra dinette to sit here and grab a bite to eat at so that you're not sitting going, we got to make the bed up and down every time we want to sit at the dinette. So if one would love to sleep in a little bit in the morning, you've got the possibility one can sleep in in the morning and the other one can get up and make a little breakfast or put the kettle on and that for a coffee in the morning without having to worry about making up the bed. Um, this also goes down into a bed too, making into a 24 by 6 foot 3 bed as well as this is a 6 foot 3 in length as well. So we basically rate this trailer at sleep in the 5. You've got one here, a couple of kids on the bunk and your two adults at the front here. So it works great if there's just the two of you and it works great if you've got a couple of kids at the same point that you can tow it with your smaller vehicles and you don't have to have a big trailer to get a lot of great features out. Lots of storage up above here that you've got up above. you got storage underneath all the seats as well for storage underneath all the seats. And that, this is a ducted heat system in it. So we've got a couple of ducts on this 
that it evenly heats the coach. You don't have that loud, noisy, rumbly furnace that a lot of the RV manufacturers use. That's a straight discharge. Uh, I prefer to do a ducted system in all the Taylor coaches because it's nice and quiet. Um, they're easy to maintenance on the outside, and it just makes a much better furnace in the trailers. As your air conditioning up above here, and to show you one of the features on the back here, you've got your great fantastic fan that we always run in the trailers and that, that's all thermostatically controlled. And then from there, this is the little larger closet on the back here, where we've got your shelves in the closet with storage below with your rod up above. One of the features that was added to this particular trailer also was the uh, Go Power uh, solar system. Um, it's really a, a neat system that uh, he can be off the grid for, for camping all the time and not worry about his battery power going down or anything. Um, you can see on it now it's showing 12.6. It is a sunny day outside. From there we can check it. Our battery's at 90%. We've got all the lights running in this coach. From there when we click it, it's running at 4.8, it's putting out 5 amps now, showing that the solar panel right now is running all the lights on board, and from there if I wanted to put on the uh, Fantastic Fan, it will run the Fantastic Fan too, that it's really not drawing anything from the battery, the solar panel is running the features on it. So if we shut off some of the lights from there and had on just a Fantastic Fan, maybe run the water pump a bit because we're inside using the coach, the solar panel's running everything. From there, we click it back. We're still at 12.6, which is a fully charged battery. Really neat option for people that like to add those features to the trailer. Um, so I really hope you enjoyed the video on this one. I enjoyed bringing it to you. Uh, if you got any questions on our product, you can go to our website, taylorcoach.com. You can find where we're located. Um, a lot of our features, look at a lot, watch a lot of our videos on that. If you're looking for something in a particular coach, I really hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed bringing it to you. Watch for more videos down the road. Take care. Bye now.